Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashala, Ko, Hello, Yumalaya, Hawa Bashim, Yawashai, Bahashem, Rakhahakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Aki and Menachwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim, Yawashai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson and pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And what you can see right here is a, is a damn Shedamite, damn Edomite in, in, in the hood, straight in the hood, nodding out off this dope, man. And, and it just shows you how far Ed, um, Esau Edom has fallen, man, in his own kingdom. Because this is straight the hood. It, it's no so-called white people over here. You know, I'm driving home from work and I see her and I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Like, she, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? So, you know, I, you know, I bend the corner and came back around and, and, and you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get some footage of this shit. So here we go right here. It's no sound to it because my phone was still hooked to my Bluetooth in the car. But check her out. That's where I ask her, you all right? So she kind of snaps out of it. Gone, bro. Fucked all up in the face. Look. So I'm like, yeah, you better wake your ass up before your ass get hit by a car. <laughs> okay. Let me get to this, this secondary part. Okay, so she okay, so she makes it across the street, right? And then she just stops right here. She couldn't even make it. <laughs> she just made it just as far as enough across the street. Now check her out. She's just standing there doing the same shit over again. Gone. Right in the middle of the hood, man. With that money still in her hand. You can see the money right there. Wild the damn money in her hand. Look at her. <laughs> So I was able to get that close up on her and get that 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 footage, man. And anybody could just fuck her up. And, you know, I just kind of just jumped back in my shit, man, and, and dip laughing my ass off. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, just a quick little lesson, man. Hey, you reap what you sow, man. You so-called white people. Y'all placed a lot of dope in the hood. Y'all had Jake out here pumping their damn arms up. I got Jake out here with them fat ass hot sausage ass hands and fingers. You know, that that dope bob, man. Hey, if y'all y'all had Jake out here messed up out here in these neighborhoods, man. But now that shit is starting to fall back on your own children. You see what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let me see. I'm going to go into a, another one in just a sec here. Galatians 6 and 7. Let's get that real quick. It says, Be not deceived, you how is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You see what I'm saying? See, the Lord is not mocked. All that shit that y'all done to us as a people, Put all that dope, crack, heroin, and all that shit in our neighborhoods, man, and, and fucked up generations of our people. Still got a lot of our people in, in jails and all this other stuff, man, dating back decades. And see, now all of a sudden, it's a, it's a health crisis for you guys. But when it was us, we were just damn criminals. Now all of a sudden, y'all got damn Narcan um, vending machines and shit like that where, you know, motherfucker just, just pull up on deck. They automatically got some shit to bring their asses back to life from a, a damn overdose. But matter of fact, that didn't happen for these two young girls. So let me see if I can get this story. Bernstein High School, and it was on a call for an overdose victim. When they arrived, uh, they met with a, a parent who had reported his daughter missing. Um, he had returned over here to the school at about 8 p.m. And he found his, his daughter here suffering from an overdose. His daughter told him that there was another person inside of the women's restroom who had also overdosed um, he summoned a school employee they went into the restroom they found this uh, other victim she was unresponsive they rendered aid called 911 and unfortunately that victim was pronounced uh, dead here at the scene by the los angeles fire department and what we learned is that these uh, two juvenile victims uh, apparently uh, attempted to purchase percocet in lexington Lexington Park, which is just south of Bernstein High School, um, earlier in the day. Uh, they ingested those pills and uh, immediately felt ill and suffered from overdose. Um, the Los Angeles Fire Department was out here, and the fire department uh, told us that there were two additional uh, overdose victims from earlier in the day, sometime uh, in the afternoon after the school let out. Uh, our concern is that uh, someone out here is selling pills that may be laced with fentanyl. Fentanyl is, of course, very dangerous 
and deadly uh, to all people. For our, for our um, deceased victim, um, we're withholding the name pending notification to next of kin, but we believe that uh, both these female victims were 15 years of age. So we need help from the community. We need to get the word out uh, that this stuff is poison, it's very dangerous, and it's going to kill more people out here on the streets. We have seen increases in deaths from fentanyl in the recent past. And uh, anyone with information on this crime is urged to call LAPD West Bureau Homicide at 213-382. Okay, so you, you get the point. You get the point. We won't have to get it all. Um, earlier in the day. Uh, they okay, well, let's get back to the scripture again. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, your how is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And that goes off into the man Esau and his seed. See, the, the, the so-called white race have done the, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans real dirty in a lot of dirty ways, man. And especially with that drug shit. But now, all of a sudden, you got all these damn overdoses going on amongst their young, amongst their... Because that, 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 that chick right there that, was, um, that I recorded up the block for me, she didn't appear to be that old. I mean, you know, they don't, you know, she she looks fucked up, but she didn't appear to be that old. That girl, she couldn't have been no more than, she might have been in her 20s. You know what I'm saying? But still, you know, for her to be out of her neighborhood, wherever she lives, she's in the hood. That's the first time I think I've seen, actually, that's the first time I've seen, some, <laughs> you know, just, you know, because I'm looking like, what the fuck? Because she looked right out of place immediately. You know, because like I said, you you know, it may be, you know, a little, maybe one or two, you know, it, it, it's here and there where you might see somebody that's so-called white. But it's rare. It's real rare rare, because Detroit is pretty much a, overall an all black city, so to speak, so-called blacks. And in, in southwest Detroit, that's where the northern kingdom are, you know, so-called Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's that's all that's in Detroit really like that. The only time you see white so-called white people. It's when they come down here to go to, you know, like the Tigers games or the Red Wings games or, you know, the um the Detroit Lions games. That's the only time you really see them like that. But 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 they come to the hood, man, when they want to get high, they will come over here. I'll be seeing them. You'll see them slip through driving, getting what they want and getting the hell on. But that shit right there that this chick was pulling. Incredible. <laughs> and I was just like, nope, I'm going to get I'm going to jump out and I'm going to get some footage of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, again, when our people were going through that real strong. And still to this very day. But I, I, I can remember the crack era, man. The crack era was terrible. Terrible. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it was the so-called white man that set that shit up, man. You see? So that's why, you know, hey, we're not feeling sorry. Hey, we're not even feeling sorry for, for Jake that's on the bullshit, man. So we for damn sure not feeling sorry for no so-called white people. Job 34 and 29. It says, when he giveth quietness. And this is talking about the uh, Most High Yahweh. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a, a man only? So the Lord is dealing with nations of people the same way he dealt with us. Now, mind you, all the things that we've gone through, it's all been because of our uh, uh, you know, disobedience and, and idol worship and all these different things that we've done against the Lord, man. You know, not just he gave us rules and regulations. He told us, if you obey me. You know, that goes with the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. He said, if you obey me, you're going to be above all nations. But if you don't, I'm going to put your ass right on the bottom. And these people are going to do you dirty. I'm going I'm I'm to scatter you throughout the four, corner, four corners of the earth, throughout the lands of your enemy. And your enemy is going to be over you, man. And that's what's going on with us as a people right now. That's why it's so important that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, wake your asses up and repent. Because things is about to get real nasty out here. And, 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 and cause this place is through, this place is through. It's not going to get no better. It's not going to come back to old, old cherry pie in the windowsill shit with the white picket fence and the dog in the yard. Nah, nah, ain't going to be none of that no more. That shit is over with. This place is going into full fledged destruction mode. You see what I'm saying? Full, cause these are 15 year olds at school, <laughs> 15 year olds at school, ODN. You in the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? On the floor with puke. On, uh, just they never, come on, man. But hey, that that you reap what you sow, man. Esau eat them, y'all. Them y'all, and, and you're gonna get a whole lot more. This is just the beginning of of your fruit. This is just the beginning of the ripeness of your fruit, man. Y'all y'all gonna get so much more. 
but you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, that's following in behind these people, thinking that you're American, calling yourselves American, and not getting the fuck away from these people that kidnapped you, you shouldn't have nothing to do with these people, man. Nothing at all. You don't owe them anything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, though we are in the land of our captivity, we got to go to work. We got to do what we got to do. But you motherfuckers, y'all want to link up with these people and hold hands with them and get to talking about Black Lives Matter. None of you black. All of you, the different shades of brown. But you holding hands, you hand in hand. Matter of fact, it's a scripture that goes into that. Though, though hand join in hand. It's not going to make no difference. These people are going to get, they're going to get what's coming to them, man. They got to pay for all that shit that they've done to the so-called um, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. You are Israelites, man. And you are the apple of the Lord's eye. They're going to pay for the shit that they've done to his children, man. It's that simple. Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So you can join hands with them all you want to. You can kumbaya. You can Martha Luther King it all you want to with these people. But the Lord is still going to destroy their asses. They're going to pay for all the atrocities that they have done to the children of Israel. Not getting away with it, man. Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And these people are, are an abomination to the Lord because no one is more prideful than these so-called white people. Especially these American ones. Oh my goodness. It says, though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. You can join hands with him all you want to. The Lord is going to get at these people, man. And, 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 and they well deserve it, man. Look at the shit that they've done. They, they got Jake down to a point of you're nothing but entertainment to these people in this place, man. Nothing but entertainment. They don't see you as being um, intellectual at all. They just see you as a bunch of blunt and, 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 and they created you niggas. The so-called white man created everything that you see in your neighborhood as far as niggas, man. This is the results of being in captivity for 500 years to a goddamn heathen. A base people, man, a low people. This is the results of it. These people, I'm telling you, man, they're not capable of running no kingdom. This is, look, at, look, at, look at the shit that's going on. This is their kingdom where 15-year-olds are at school overdosing, <laughs> trying to get fucking pills, man, trying to, trying to smoke something, drink something, do it, you know, just out here doing all kinds of wickedness. Got all kinds of transformers, the alphabet crew running around. Air quality fucked up. Food quality fucked up. The inflation is going through the roof. You can barely afford a damn tank of gas, man. In the meanwhile, they spending all your money on war shit. They got plenty of money for, 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 for war equipment, though. You best believe that. They're going to put they putting trillions of, of your taxpayers' dollars into their military because they're so damn scared and shook because they done fucked so many people over for so long. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> but see, these countries are starting to rile up and come up against them, too. And they're being separated. The Lord is dividing them. So the scripture talks about a kingdom divided cannot stand. And you can see this place clearly falling, man, like damn dominoes, man. And straight up. And like I said, again, hey, we, we're not feeling sorry for none of y'all. I mean, for none of <laughs> none of these damn two thirds. You don't want to repent and, and, and the judgment that's going out on your ass. We're not feeling sorry for you. We're not feeling sorry for you. And we, and like I said again, we're for damn sure not feeling sorry for no so-called white people, man. We're, we're actually praying for the downfall of this country. And this is a part of it, man. That's a part of the prayers right there. That's something I pray for every day. So when I see her, I'm like, yep, that's a part of my prayers being answered. The so-called white man's kingdom is, is falling. Like for real, for real, man. And it's only going to get worse. You haven't seen nothing yet. And especially in Illinois, oh my goodness, man. Hey, you, 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 you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women in Illinois, y'all better stay the fuck off the streets, man. You better go out and get what you got to get done early if you got to go outside. And you better be going in some damn groups, preferably with your husband, your, your, your brothers, or some with a damn guy, two, three guys, as a matter of fact. Because motherfuckers are about to start snatching y'all asses right on up, man. It's about to get real ill out there. Y'all, y'all kidnapping. Um, 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 ratio is about to go through the fucking roof, man. Murder rate and all that. And it, I mean, it's just in general, but, but, but <laughs> that shit they doing in Illinois is retarded, man. That's retarded, man. That purge. 
<laughs> and I got the movies too. I've been watching them, boys. Hey, man, the purge is about to go down out here, man. But hey, again, like I said, this right here, though. Well, here you go, though. The so called white woman in the hood sleep with her goddamn mouth wide open on the sidewalk, standing up, bobbing back and forth, man. Gone. Through, man. Through. <laughs> incredible man but anyway with that i pray that this lesson was edifying hey repent you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans hey it's high time to awake out of sleep man it's time to repent it's about to get real nasty out here man real nasty out here real soon too it's not gonna be long man this place is about to get real nasty soon so with that kwame inshallah